six minutes after 10 and I'm extremely excited for this next hour because we are honored to be graced by a lyrical legend in South Africa, someone who has pushed the frontiers and the boundaries of rap, songwriting and lyricism. Real name Tumi Molekane, but rap name Stogie T. Thank you so much for joining us to think about your lyricism and your craft. Peace, 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 peace. Thank you for having me. Damn. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a great pleasure. And, um, you know, sometimes I think that people don't understand how difficult lyricism really is. Right. You know, as, as someone who's tried to write ac- an academic thesis and is trying, <laughs> failing, this verse, is, this verse is just not coming out. <laughs> right, right. Um, there's nothing that's harder about that than, than, than writing a, a brilliant album or, or a verse. You know, mm. it's, it's the, in many ways, it's the total brain exercise, memory, rhythm, right. language. Right, right. Um, what are your views on, on lyricism and, and the fact that it's, it's an art form? Oh, I think really, you know, th- that's been my life's work, you know, mm. um, ever since my mother challenged me in the car when I played a song by Nas called Life's a Bee, right? Oh, wow. And she was like, yo, what is that? And I switched it off and she was like, really, that's what you're going to do? You're going to cower? You, you, you spend all your days listening to this stuff. And I ask mm. you one question and you can't even speak up for it. Wow. And ever since then, you know, I was like, okay, so, all right, so, okay, 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 so, mm. I, 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 you know, this thing, I, I have to defend this thing, and, and I have to understand it fully, you know, um, and so lyricism to me has always meant, you know, um, like full, you know, a, a, like expression and, and, you know, high art, Dirty, dirty art as well because mm. it's from the street level gutter. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, th- mm. th- that's something that I think is also lost in 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 wanting to, you know, maybe look at you know uh you know people people try to exo- exoticize you know mm. like hip hop sometimes and make it oh no this is high art and it's like yo yes there are elements of it that are incredibly dexterous and <laughs> you know but it is. Mm from street level you know uh from you know people who weren't considered erudite you know Mm -hmm. uh and Mm -hmm. they they developed these very established now systems and you know i I don't need to be studied in university for 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 me to 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 view my work as valid Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. the schools are there you know we call it old school new school there's you know lyrical there's you know what i mean so so those things are valid and i think a lot of my, you know my life's work as 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 outside of the music just in in terms of advocating for 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 hip hop mm. hip hop's place in in the country has always been look everyone's talking about who's who's going who's going to be our next miriams and our next brahus and and i was like mm. i uh, we are we yeah. we we want to be those people you know what i mean mm. simpua dana is Tumi is, aka is. Why? Because he captured that. Th- th- you know what I mean? That that that, that story. He captured that, that 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 moment in time. You know what I mean? I think that's yeah, really yeah. you know. But again, you know, I think the things it comes with make it a little difficult to, mm. to see it as that. Absolutely. And we're going to be looking at three three of your works from different periods mm. and. Just trying to understand, you know, the way your mind works as you're going into these, um, these verses that you craft. Um, but I also just before we jump into those, those three works and songs, like want to know a bit more about the journey. I think that story of your mom in the car is fascinating. Mm-hmm. Like that right. moment where you had to fir- like first defend. And then how did you start realizing that you, you were actually good at this and that, you know, you could start crafting lyrics and how did that journey begin oh i think it was imitation you know just Mm. like kind of falling in love with it and you know not understanding what exactly is being said and Mm. you know so you kind of just swallow it whole you know you're everything you're the fashion the Mm. um the you know the 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 manner of 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 speech the you know even the negative things you know what i mean that come with it um and and uh, you know and then you start to realize that you know 
that alien story as as fascinating and as exotic as it is to hear you know about gangsters in south central <laughs> or you know um ballers in new york mm. you start to realize that yo this is not sufficient anymore mm. you know the story mm. is it's mm. like it's because i look at my life and i'm like yo I'm I'm trying to I I just came back from exile. I'm trying to mm. find my feet in this country. I'm they're telling me this guy's my family, but he is not accepting who I am. I am mm. you know what I mean? So I'm I'm contending with all these things and to to you know and I'm listening to this music and I love the form of this music and everything about it, but yeah. the stories are just not sufficient. You know? Yeah. So I'm having I'm 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 having to you know almost compensate by you know you know reading poetry and reading you know uh uh Kentemba or <laughs> don matera or you know what i mean the things that you kind of raise with but so you're looking and you're going wait these <laughs> Mm. This is this they say this is this, this sounds more familiar as 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 a story you know but this is just like mm. yo this is this this uh, I feel this you know what I mean <laughs> I feel Nasia Jones you oh, know what wow. I mean but I I I you know I'm like I I feel like this is who I am mm. I'm I'm mm. Dambuzo Marachera you know what I mean I'm mm. this writer here so how you know I th- and I think just those things coming closer what you know made me go hmm. okay I'm 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 going to write about my grandmother hmm. and I think once you have the form down and that's the thing about about you know when you're obsessive and you're passionate about something as a young kid I mean it's always form first and then everything else follows you know hmm. so hmm. meaning follows later you know so form I had down and once you have form down I think that encourages you enough cuz you're 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 you know you're able so you're like okay this is it, it encourages you you know what i mean to continue doing it and then you know and then and then the story kind of seeps through and then you start you know you start realizing how difficult it is to mm. still keep 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 the rhyme scheme and the story <laughs> you know what i mean you nice, start to realize nice. those challenges you know those you know very early stage challenges but you're like okay mm. all right how do i make it compelling so that someone goes wow that's just so so gorgeous mm. and then still for your mom to go wow mm. that's really beautiful in the car <laughs> in the, you know what okay mean? i like that i one. like that one. you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> exactly no no that's that's fascinating do you do you remember the first thing you ever wrote uh no no i don't <laughs> i don't i really don't <laughs> I, I what i do remember is f- trying to find a name that I remember, like just trying to find an alias. Mm. That's, you know, um, mm. that, 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 I think I struggled with that the most. Like, yeah. just like, yo, what's the excellence? Hmm, no. <laughs> you know, things like that. It was silly really things like that. The yo. excellence. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it, yo, at the time it was, you know, you can imagine like, you know, 15 or whatever, and you're like, man, what's the, it was, it was a challenge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's so funny. <laughs> that's something you and AKA share. I remember him trying to, Figure out what his name would be, bro. And he, what a lazy! I mean, <laughs> and then he, he we settles in AKA. Dead set against this. We were like, AKA, uh, like maybe Apex. Like if you want to go with the A, like, <laughs> right, 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 right. Hey, what did, what did we know? Right, right? exactly. Um, yeah. So look, um, there there is there is so much um, that I want to get into, um, and and we want to also play um, sticks and stones first up. Before we, we go into Sticks and Stones, um, I had a quick question about openings because mm. you had a really um, interesting tweet that I saw oh, right, this week right, right. and you were like, these are the best opening lines. <laughs> Two verse. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. And um, what, do you, what are your thoughts on how you open a verse before we, we go into one of the openings that we're going to play? Oh, it's a great question. I, you know, I think w- what interested me is I'm developing some, I'm, you know, I'm working on this workshop that I'm going I'm to be doing, you know, hmm. um, uh, later in, the, you know, uh, in, in a week or so. Yeah. And it, it, it's got me thinking about, you know, the, the art of writing a verse. Hmm. And, I, you know, for me most times the things the thing that compels me to write a verse outside of like someone going yo i need a verse for a song or yo we gotta write this song Mm. is literally the perfect line Mm. 
the perfect opening line mm. it, it it to me that's like it just sets you off bro it's like yeah. you know what I mean? it's like the strike of a match it's like psh, oh mm. you know what I mean? mm. the rest is you know um and so i've i've, I've, I've uh, you know I've, I've always wondered man and i i realized in that tweet i realized yeah. there are actually there are some that are iconic just because of their popularity mm. Mm. Uh, but not so good but just yeah, iconic yeah. because of that popularity you know yeah. um um you know like if dear mama when i was um, when i was young me and my mama had beef anyone mm. can continue you know from then mm. but it's to me that's not really what i was getting at it was like mm. no 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 not the iconic ones because that's you know yeah i get it it's like big song but yeah what's What's you know the the, the one that goes, push? Mm. I can't stop listening. Mm. I'm not stopping mm. this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, like and with within the tweet, also just like some of them were brilliant just because of the images they created. Absolutely. But others were just rhythmically, just like one, two, three, three to into the, the four. Like, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and it just is perfect. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, absolutely. let's let's um, jump into some of Stogie T's work, and we're going to go in chronological order with these three songs. We're going to start now in the Do Me and the Volume era with a track by the name of Sticks and Stones from 2006, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Bones, but when you rap, it's a trap that can get you blown. Uh, it's been told and it's been shown. We dodge bullets and run through the sickest flows. Sticks and stones might twist your bones, but it's the rap music. In fact, dude, that's killing y'all. They say Jesus was whipped in stone and scriptures open. His lip outlives us all. Yo, I make something for my inmate cousin locked up in cage. Juggling time like late buses. The thugs who brave summers where love is Beethoven. Unheard of, brought up. They stay hustling, fighting injustice. Down for this life. Why? Think back, I write and spit fact and move various blacks like group areas act. I do dwell in the past, so you settle the gash of a part. They heart ache, new hell in the mask. How about Daki Balambe, Hoots, begging the cash, filling it back. But you must take a lick at where rap is killing me, sting a new and I know it. For that, yo, I'm getting over this, but punks, I can't stop. Your rap's throwing bricks like a practice jump shot. I dunk my, why you in the pose, fire in the hole, surprise, you strap no for the blow, fly, I'm there it goes. So you tripping off the momentary flight, chickens don't be fly, so only right, sit home, be quiet, rewire the engine. Go ahead, try it again. We ain't buying the ending. Long as I get a pen, I'll rewrite the sermon. Rapping my own version, took a pen with a Bible. That's the power of Sticks and stones, cripple bones. But when you rap, it's a trap that could get you blown. Uh, sing along if you're rich or poor. But think before what you speak might get you involved. Sticks and stones might twist your bones. But it's the rap music and fact, dude, that's killing y'all. What? They say Jesus was whipped and stoned in scriptures. Oh, but his lip I lips us all. It's rap music for the poor or the affluent for the world. Whether they got Jews or they got two cents. We break down a youth fence. The God got you and gaps moving us apart like that. Whack you and I'm in the back. Through when this white old kid, what you grin is like. I love you, man. What? I love your music. When Shanga to my papuzi, to me the bundle, me we sit in the paradise. And so it should be. I'm here now to raise the level from the hood till the green lands of KZN. It is that crazy blend that sees these famous men put to real life what these MCs pretend. So chill out in the car. What's better for the crowd? Lyrics to the sound. A little bit of mix it in fair amounts. Drink it, enjoy it, sweet when it pours. I love my people, whether they in the village or more. Living or going in prison, no one business. Is all the crippled, the tall children of one umbilical cord is real. The legacy I'm developing with volume will blow the game away like a referee. I assure you, I'm not from Zola, but I'm brought up with the same passion that make these dudes get a mic and some stage dancers. I'm just a stone throw away from these fake rappers. My words stick so they know not to play with matches. Sticks and stones, cripple bones, but when you rap, it's your trap that could get you blown. Uh, it's been told and it's been shown. We dodge. <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, I have to tell the, the story of this uh, Like for those of you Who don't know By the way I alluded to it earlier um, I was part of a A rap group At this very time uh, <laughs> From which AKA also sprung Absolutely And um, Tantla, The other member Of this group Was just like He would just constantly Go on about sticks and stones really? To prove To prove how deep he was Alright oh, right, was, right, like, right Of course Sticks, of course. sticks and stones Like you just don't you just don't get <laughs> Sticks and stones Do you Do you remember this firstly Because oh, this is More than a decade man, That was painful to listen 
Christmas. <laughs> I was really paid for the really? too. Yeah, yeah. There was some <laughs> cringeworthy moments oh, there. Word. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, we had to we had to remove uh, some some. Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, all right. That's all right. Rules, yeah, the, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, mm. no, no. There's some cringe. Oh, wow. Really? Because yeah. I go back to that and I'm like, wow. Like you were light years ahead already back then. Ah, like, uh, you know, I think. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Ah man, <laughs> so so it's very difficult to to to, to listen to that and not hmm. and not pick apart at it. Hmm. Really, to not you know to go oh 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 that was bad mm. oh that was you know um and I think I think I think just as far as form is concerned, mm. what has changed the most is. Again, you know, I go back to the phrase, the economy of the words. You know what I mean? Mm. The, the, mm. Uh, you know, I think I get to the point a lot quicker and a lot mm. more efficiently. There's less fat and mm. more meat. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I think, and, um, and that to me always category, you know, it, it always, um, yeah, it always, it always kind of char- char- characterizes a, a, a a a deficiency in writing, you know, where huh. where it's like, oh, okay, there's a lot of pumping, you know what I mean, mm. but not mm. enough subs, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. So so yeah, so I just hear that and I just go, oh man, if that if, if that was a if that was someone I was working with, let's say like a younger artist or yeah. something, yeah, I would have ripped that thing apart. Huh. Wow, that's that's <laughs> actually quite fascinating because like you seem, and I suppose this is what helps with your longevity. Part of the reason why you've been doing this for so long is is the ability to self criticize right and, and to look at what you've done before and not just be self satisfied but actually be like how would I make that better now? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I th- I think I think what, what does what does is kind of jump out is okay, this guy is clear. So this guy is clear as far as like his messaging. Mm. It, like in that song, there's okay, it's very clear. It's like, okay, okay. So, you know, and I, and I even remember what, what prompted that song. Mm. I, I traveled to Zimbabwe with Zubs and oh, wow. one of, one of, you know, one of our chaperones was telling us, yo, no, people complain about, you know, Zimbabwe not having freedom of speech and whatnot. No, mm. in Zimbabwe, you have the right to say whatever you want as long as you're prepared <laughs> to get <laughs> sticks exactly. and stones. Sticks and stones. So, you know, so okay. this idea of like, wow. yo, how, you know, how powerful words are and, you know, and this idea that, you know, like, yo, they stoned Jesus. I, I remember this mm. one of that, but his, his words or whatever outlive us all, you know? So, yeah, so I was yeah. like, okay, the messaging is clear. Like, if, if you don't understand, and, and, and that's something I think that I had to learn from traveling, um, or, you know, doing overseas tours yeah. is that, you know, a lot of the audiences maybe don't speak English. Hmm. So you kind of want people to understand the, the, the overall sentiment of the song. Hmm. So, you know, that needs to be clear. So they might not get the Mapaputi reference. They might not sure. get this punchline. They might, but, do they understand the overall sentiment of mm. what you're doing? You know, mm. and that, and that, and that, I think I used to privilege that because, you know, of, of, of the kind of audiences that I was, um, so, so that was clear. I was like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Mm. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of like extra stuff here, you know, like the, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the, firstly, I understand it so much better now that you to- tell that story about, cause, the sticks and stones, Zimbabwe, and then you bring in the biblical references. Right, right, right. Um, so that's really cool to me, like, as I was thinking about, like, where does this biblical reference fit? Like, mm, Jesus, mm. Um, his lip lived on, mm, you know, mm. um, and of course, like, that links back to the freedom of speech. So that's, that's really cool. What, what else I liked about, about it is, is how you, how you pose these different worlds together. Like, on the one hand, in the opening, you talk about your inmate cousin. Right. And then the next thing is Beethoven. Right. You know, on, <laughs> right. on the one hand, you're talking about this is for the poor, but it's right. also for the affluent. Absolutely. Um, take us through like how you, how you juxtapose these different ideas and then bring together, bring them together in, in those verses. Yeah. Again, I thought, I thought that, you know, everyone, everyone was, was, everyone looked at us as, as, uh, you know, you know, th- us doing our little hip hop thing mm. and they kind of, you know, they really looked to minimize what we were doing, you know, and, hmm. and all, you know, at, 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 at every kind of step, I was trying to show them that like, yo, like exactly what Mapaputi is doing 
is what I'm doing. Yes, different mm. background, different, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make a case for that, you mm. know, like that, like, mm. you know, this is the same thing. And, um, so, you know, I mean, you know, with regards to my cousin, I'm like, I, I, and I think I've, I've, I've since after this done it a little bit better as far as like, you know, talking that he's talking about his story or talking about that kind of, that kind of representation because I always felt like they obviously loved me, but, they mm. they weren't really into my music as such, you know, but the people who were into my music, you know, I, I had to I had to explain to him that like, yo, I carry your story through my music. It might not hit you even. You might not go like, oh man, my mm. cousin, you know, he's telling my story, <laughs> but like, there's someone else far removed from your world who's mm. going, oh wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. so so your cousin, what happened? You know what I mean? And then you're like, oh, yeah, this is the story. And uh, that person can be from Cologne, Germany. Mm. That person mm. can be from Ghana, you know? And, and and you kind of, so, so you know, just to kind of say, like, you, we, one can represent where they're from without it being, cla- you know, um, traditionally, cla- you know what I mean? Like, like mm. at, you have the... Have the, 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 the nuances or the, or the, 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 you know, the, the, the trimmings of like, oh, this is, this is a South African rapper. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, exactly. It, 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 it can represent South Africa without it being classified as that or mm. whatever, you know? Mm. Yeah. So, mm. so that, that's, you know, but I, like I said, I think I've since done that a little bit better and, um, you know, which prompted, Things like name changes and things like that, mm. but yeah, but mm. you know, I think here I was, I was again just making a case for, f- for the importance, maybe self-importance, but the importance of what we are trying to do, you know. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. I didn't realize like you, you thought about these these lyrics to this extent. I'm just like, wow, <laughs> like 2006, like this is this is already happening, but you're like picking it apart, like. I'm, now I'm also like, hmm, actually, maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it just, um, I think that explains a lot of like how you've been able to not just assess other people's work, but look at your work, keep trying to become more and more razor sharp and, and right. assess that. We're in conversation with Stogie T. <laughs> um, we're talking about lyricism and we're looking at three of his works, taking them seriously as works of art and looking at how he crafts his lyricism what he's learned in you know many many years of being a lyricist and looking at some of the strategies and the the ways that he thinks through how he performs his craft so we've got through one song we've got through sticks and stones we've got two more coming up asina mali from 2010 and going gorilla from 2017 we're going to come back to analyze more of those songs also give us a call on 011-883-0702 many people on twitter already expressing their love um, for Stogie T's work. When Shout we cut to them. <laughs> yes, yes. And um, when we come back from the headlines, 25 minutes to 11, we're in conversation with Stogie T on his lyricism. Lots of love on Twitter. Nyagi saying, my favorite lyricist. Um, so many people just enjoying this. Flames on Radio 702. <laughs> we're going to come to the second song that we'd like to look at, which comes four years after Sticks and Stones, which is called Asna Mali from 2010. Let's listen in. When the money's in a system, ain't no telling them that they can go to prison for stuff that they be selling because it's in a blood, second nature. So they keep chasing to get paid and run, huh? It ain't the code of the streets, it's the code of the meek that inherited embezzled and the seller for cheap. From the thieves to the presidency, and etc. We are drenched by the stench of extra currency. That's just how I be. We get by on a dream and only sleep 20 hours a week. Trying to balance our needs against the company's greed. Because a working class hero is something to be. You hear the sound of the beat, start shuffling and feet, not me, that's the hustle side See from the beer, you a puppet old king, the ladder, but I gotta go get more battle those things. I can't decide if it's the money, that got the people going out of control. I can't decide if it's the money, that put a low price tag on your soul. I can't decide if it's the money, that got the people going out of control. I can't decide. The Buddha eating is the food of my people. The dietary supplement, the poor got a Negro. Provided by your government, the suits get illegal. Troops keep it exclusively for the heroes of the struggle. So they hustle that BEE to 
yo, that's what you would eat all the cut you a piece of the pie or cut you if there are no supplies. I can decide if it's just the disguise. Entrepreneur drive, pretend we all right. Get it at all jobs, spend what you don't got, but again, settle the deficit you all got. One free market rule, be heartless rude. These drugs don't break the you. I can spit a whole lump for you. Write a Bible, but if it that's about my profits. The people going out of control. I can't decide if it's the money that put a low price tag on your soul. I can't decide if it's the money that got the people going out of control. I can't decide if it's the money that got up, that put up, that got up. Oh. I can't decide if that 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 is an iconic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. How do you how do you reflect on that? Like take us through how that came together and yeah, just the intentions behind that. Yeah. Um uh, I think I th- uh, man, I'm trying to remember. Um yeah, yeah. D- definitely the music came first, you know. Okay. Very yeah. So uh how how we used to make music with the band, we kinda just sit mm-hmm. in a room. And pluck from nothing, you know, mm-hmm. and just kind of let, okay, the bass player like that bass. Okay. The drummer starts playing to that. Ah, we don't like that. Okay. Hmm. Other, uh, next idea, you know, very much like you think you imagine a painter would sketch and go, nah, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but all, you know, all of us in a room and, you know, just kind of, you know, vibing. And I think this mm-hmm. Asinamali, this idea of Asinamali, you know, as, as, as the, you know, obviously the play, but also just the chant of like the disenfranchised, you know, mm, the, the, mm. the, when, when people were striking and people were like, you know, um, doing the ghost laws and the, you know, uh, we will not, we will not support these businesses that don't want to, you know, um, um, that don't want to support the struggle, you know, mm. um, and so I think that, in the back of in the back of my mind, so so let me give you a picture of, hmm. a, a, a picture of what what's happening, right? So the beat is playing, so yeah. you're going okay. So I have this Asina Mali thing. I definitely want. To, I want to try. I want to tackle that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's the idea. I want to tackle this idea of like, okay, money. So Asina Mali, we don't have money, right? Asina Mali. So mm-hmm. that's that's the idea. That it, it's it's now gestating in your head. You go, okay, okay. It's about money. So now mm-hmm. thematically, you're going, okay. All the things to do with money, everything to do. So that's you know mm-hmm. all these things are racing in your head. Mm-hmm. And now this beat is playing. This beat is really funky. It's boom, chica, boom, ah, boom, chica, you know. Mm-hmm. And all I'm thinking of, for some strange reason, is Jay Z. Now when the Remy's in the system, ain't yeah. no telling yeah. well I and you're like, that's all I'm thinking. So I go, now when the money's in the system, ain't no telling. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's literally, that's the first line. And, mm. I, I, you know, and I go, okay, so that's okay. Okay, we're doing that. We're doing that. Okay, we're appropriating yeah. that. We're appropriating that. Cool. So you, because to, to me, that, that, right, mm. just feels, mm. feels right, right? So you, you take that. You go, okay, okay, okay. That's, that's what we're doing form wise. And right? just on that, because I think that, just that alone is is a fascinating thing. Like the way that rappers allude to other rappers, absolutely. Um, you know, bring in the same rhythm but change the words, kind mm. of to nod to nod your head, but to also say like this comes from a tradition. Absolutely. I'm adding to that tradition. Ab- you, know? you see, like so. I mean, a, a lot is said about you know, biting or imitating or you know. But there's, I mean, you know, there's a, there's a really, I think there's a tasteful way in which one can do that where it's like it's 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 you're paying homage mm. to mm. someone but you're also like you say a tradition yeah. and also you're saying look man you know i i i see i see that and i i, I want to i want you to to judge me against that i mm. want you i want to place myself mm. in mm. that in that can comfort. i do a better line yeah, than abs- you might have done. absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. you know and also i think i think you know, if, 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 if there are any like young artists listening or whatever, mm. for me, it's always make, you know, like your reference, like try draw from as universal a, a, a reference point as possible. Mm. So don't, you know, don't, don't limit your reference point. Cause I think a lot of times you hear a rapper and you go, 
man, I can trace literally the one rapper to mm, you. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm. W- 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 whereas the, I think the most interesting thing is when you go, wow, okay. Wow, wow this is, this, I, I hear this guy, I hear that guy, but mm. then there's this other thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, Because yeah. it, it just makes you richer, you know? Um, uh, your reference points richer. Uh, but yeah, so that's happening. And, mm. you know, so, so, it, it, you know, you, you're going, okay, so, all right, so it's one of those songs. And I'll, t- I'll tell you a funny thing about what, what what used to happen with the band is every time I'd, they, 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 we'd come up on something, so I, I can't decide. They're like, oh, this is the one. Mm. Is, everyone is excited. <laughs> and as soon as I'm halfway into the verse, they go, oh, there you go, talking that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, this oh, is... Oh, wow. Yeah, because they're just like, oh, man, we yeah. we were almost there. And then he started <laughs> talking about yeah. B-E-E go and... <laughs> You know, what I mean? he's limiting the reach of the song. You oh, know, and oh, oh. and I, I I I I I I think I didn't appreciate that hmm. then. Hmm. You know, I think yeah, definitely yeah. I didn't appreciate that. Like I told you, it's it's hard to listen to these songs and not see the the little um, the defects or the little you know. Um, hmm. And and I think in that in that sense, yeah, that, that, that those are the things that you know. I, I I I think I just kind of was like self-indulgent as far as like sticking to my position and my yeah you know, you know this is yeah you know, this is the lens i see you know but again you know that's all i knew you know yeah yeah and, and your evolution i think has been really interesting to watch because like in many ways it's just become more complex and you've taken on more questions right. and with the same lyrical flair but it's not through that narrow lens Absolutely. um and and when we get on to the third the third song we'll reflect on that we've got so many calls i'm gonna take two um oh, tunzi uh, well. oh yeah yeah <laughs> M- tunzi um welcome to the show if you could keep it relatively brief um what are your thoughts okay cool thanks man um hi to me uh, i think i just have i just want to get your opinion both of you guys opinion right um, I must say to me, your music was like some sort of a cultural prosthetic for me to, for, for, for me to understand the world, at least back in those times, right? Wow. 2006, 2005 and all of those areas. And looking at what the, mu- what music was coming out at the time, like whether it's Kwane Experience, Zabu mm. Last Letter, um, I mean, the late great Mischief and, um, of course, what I can't even at the time, right? right? So looking at that time and looking at what you guys were doing, doing then and looking at now, you know, I mean, the reading, my reading of the current situation is that there's some sort of a, a sterility that exists, right? And I wonder what's your thoughts with regards to that, because it almost seems like we're reaching to a time when when things were booming and things were nice. I mean, you speak of references, and and I appreciate the fact that I mean we can, we can pick up as many references in your lyrics and in your flows and in your form and, and even how you deliver the message. But in this, this current ta- this current time where we are right now, it's almost as if nothing new is is, is happening. I mean, okay, it's, it's like a sterile moment that's that's that, 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 cool. that, that I'm picking no, up. We, and we, I, we I get you, your about that. Yeah. Th- thanks so much for the call and and for a good call, uh, Hello. Yo, Caesar, to me, how's it going? Peace, good, brother. Good, bro. Yo, bro, I wanted, you know, I started listening to hip hop in 2014, like that golden era when you were doing big things, like on a national level, when hip hop started to get national. Right. Now, I wanted, I wanted to know from, especially you, um, both of you guys, Caesar, you being an, an academia and you to me being, you know, an artist. I wanted to know, is there a place or will there ever be a place? Because hip hop is an African thing, right? Will, uh, will there ever be a place where you, um, we have this thing in, in, in academics, like on high, higher education and stuff. Okay. Right. And right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we so. get you. Come hello. We're going to go to a quick break after those calls and uh, come back to some of those when we get back into, um, the final song and we'll take some of those questions as well let's go to we're in conversation with lyrical legend stogie t and we're going on to the third track that we're going to be analyzing today going gorilla from 2017 
We grew up on Beagle when leaders in prison on islands. Now we visit the beach and my people are treated like primates. Trying to dribble the challenge. My cousin not kicking the habit. A deadly fixture with mixture of this is poverty and violence. They flag our dreams and wishes killed by the linesmen. The gatekeepers that the whitest and they stay sniffing the linesmen. Our team full of strikers marching and I'm sick of the riot. My people divided. We do what's provided. Get rich or die trying. We grew up on America. Snoop Dogg and my shump blood. Devs I'm a rebel. I'm pushing the two door gun gun. Can't tell us about the rules cause we don't comply I'm offending you when I'm next to you What's your rule and you won't know why Running, I'm running, you running We're running in races Powers ask me where I'm going I'm coming for faces Tired of being a victim Learning to learning, yeah Came up from nothing in the swanning Yeah, getting chilly Yeah, I've come to realize That they don't know about us no, 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 no to realize that you don't know about us I've come to realize that they don't know about us I've come to realize that you don't know about us we ride, we steal, we kill, we build, destroy Rebuild, keep calling me a big and name, just leave the soil We in, cause I want the land I need the house and the land Penny Star will need stuff for France For being so cozy while we ride my grandma, my hater, white people, not for no reason. Some days she calling them devilish evil. Sunday she calling them Jesus. She put the picture of Christ next to the ones of the kids that survived. Jump in the silence and she said goodbye. Left us the struggle that we kept alive. We dream, we piss, we try to get a leg up. We smart, we scheme, but these mothers won't let up. Not your victim, I'm free long as I got this Beretta. Right at the tide on the treasure, but not for the but the better. Running, I'm running, you're running, we're running in races Powers ask me where I'm going, I'm coming for faces Tired of being a victim, learning the learning, yeah Came up from nothing in the swanning, yeah, getting chilly Yeah, I've come to realize that they don't know about us I've come to realize that you don't know about us I've come to realize that they don't know about us to realize that you don't know about us mm. Mm. that was a good one <laughs> i like that oh, one and i have to tell you a story i was writing i was writing an album of political songs at the time and then i heard that and i was like okay so this is how you do it um, <laughs> hmm, this is uh, awkward <laughs> it's, it, you know that I, I, I think that's weird like that mm. that, that, that people Usually, uh, point to that song when they talk about oh, political. Mm. And to me, you know, the, the the line that always jumps out from that song is, "My grandma, my hated white people, not for no reason. Mm. Some days she's calling them devilish evil. Sunday she's calling them Jesus. Mm. And that to me is like that's not political. That's mm. as personal as you know what I mean. And yeah. and and, yeah. and 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 that's you know, um, it, you know, like I think a cinemali. To mm. me, it's like, yeah, that's that's political. Mm. That's mm. talking about the broad, you know, yo, they make B-E-E dough and this and that, you know what I mean? Mm. But this to me is so, it, it, it feels so like, you, you know, I, I honed in on, mm. on, on, on a mm. kind of human story and you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I felt like, you know. Is that part of like what you, what you began to learn as the years unfolded mm. that you didn't necessarily have to go broad? Like Absolutely. if you tell your own story, Absolutely. it symbolizes a broader story. Absolutely. A deeper dive rather than, you know, I mean, mm. in, in, in literature, they'll show you, you know, they'll say, okay, so you can, when you discuss a broad topic, mm. it's broad, but it's, it's, it's surface, you know, mm. but when mm. you kind of, you narrow it down, you can, you have have the room to go you know a mm, uh, deeper mm. on it um and i think i think that to me that that's become a little bit more interesting as you know when i was do me in the volume yeah. or when i was doing solo stuff as do me mm. if i do a song about the club right you know you guys are opposite one of the most famous clubs in mm. in johannesburg you know it would really be a very kind of surface story about oh the club look at the the girls trying to do this the guys trying to do that mm. but you know as stogie t you kind of go all right 
who is she? Hmm. Who is he? Where's the bouncer from? Yo, that bouncer comes from, lives in a shack and has to serve champagne mm. to, you feel me? Mm. So now, mm. so Absolutely. you're not, so, so that, that becomes a little bit more, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and, and I think th- that's a little more illuminating to me than just like the kind of surface, mm. Mm. what we all kind of see, you know? Absolutely. Mm. Look, um, I know that there's an upcoming event where you will be sharing stories and insights on topics like this. Can you tell us a bit more about um, the Vadult Young Masters event and, you know, if people want to go deeper and further with this, how they can do that? Yeah, it's it's really a workshop done by um, uh, an artist friend of mine uh, called Yaku from a group called Better Ender, which is an Afrikaans rap group uh, hmm. that I absolutely adore, you know. Um and it's 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 a workshop on lyricism, um, on 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 the craft, uh, on writing, um, and of course I'll share some stories about you know where where some of these things come from, you know, as far as like the ideas and whatnot. It, it happens on the seventh uh, of, of of September. Um, we have details on my socials and everything. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's 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 really yeah, it's just masterclass on on on, on lyricism. You know, um, I'll tell you this, man. The reason I accepted your invitation, so I don't really I don't really do press. Mm. I mm. only do press with people who have a vested interest in the culture. For sure. And you know, um, I really I really respect you know that you you come from the culture yeah. and that you know you 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 would you you would. Add more than you know you, you 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 know rather than just want from me you would also appreciate you know what I mean so yeah yeah you know, so yeah just to, to say I appreciate the in, invitation brother no we we really appreciate it and it's been incredible the Twitter streets are on fire and, <laughs> and I want to end with one caller who who's dying to be the last voice so Tato um you don't have very long but please um, say what's on your mind um, okay I'm gonna make it as quick as possible we can how are you guys doing good thanks. Up, man. I'm good. Uh, so I started DJing in the in the 80s. Ah. So you, <laughs> you know, my, oh, produ- my producers just throw me under the bus. I was like, like this guy's got such a radio voice. <laughs> I, I was, was like, hey, like- <laughs> yeah. Have you thought about maybe <laughs> going on the radio, Tato? <laughs> let me finish. Let me finish. So no, so you I can have the whole hour. The uh. Uh, I'll come back for that. But I was DJing in the 80s, <laughs> playing uh. a lot of hip hop. A lot of people don't know that. My DJ career actually started playing a hell of a lot of hip hop. Wow. Uh, you know, so I was playing your Run DMCs, your LL Cool J's. Mm. And before even DJing, you know, the so called new wave of hip hop, your Treacherous Threes, mm. your Cool Mordies. Mm. But it was when Rakim entered the scene Absolutely. that I think something in hip hop moved. Yep. And when I first heard Do Me uh, with the volume, the same thing I felt in my soul when Rakim came wow. out in the 80s is exactly what I felt, that now we are next leveling things. So I just wanted to say to do me big up, dude. I think you wow. were before before, and uh, you must keep at it, man. I think you are the Rakim of our age. Wow. Is someone recording this? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We've got, we've got camera crew. We've got the radio. We've got the podcast. I appreciate you, T. I appreciate yeah, you, yeah. sir. Shout out. Thank love you, you love so you much. Fellas, man. Yeah, man. Oh, thank you so much. Well, look, um, that's, that's where we're going to have to end it. And I, oh, you man. know what? Um, yeah, there's probably no better way to end it, quite frankly. You, you, know, <laughs> you, you know the yes. best way to end a verse is with a, with a shout out. So. <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> yeah, no, we really, really appreciate your time. Um, we've been spending time with Stogie T, looking at his lyricism, looking at the way he perfects his craft, and going through some of the brilliant masterpieces that he's delivered over the years. It's been a great honor to have you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching the content. Like, share, and subscribe on all platforms, smwx.co.za, to join the WhatsApp channel. And let's build a new conversation for a new generation. Are you, are you?